Their Nair. The men who betrayed me. My old company. Hold up like the rats that they are. But it ain't just that. Revenge ain't my primary motive. My primary motive is profit. Only thing about this is we can kill two birds with one stone. If we take out the ammunition dump in the place, then there ain't no way they can blow a hole in the bank they were planning on robbing, which leaves us to do it when I can figure a way. Here's some dynamite to do the job. And if one of you gets the opportunity to kill my so-called lifelong best friend and business partner, well, that'll be fine, too. I best stay here. I don't want them to know I'm behind this, much as I like to shoot every last one of them. So good luck. I'll watch how you get on. Get on. Get on. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. A knife in the back for a knife in the back. Go away, old man. Nice world, Mr. Finch. We are what we are, and what you are is a pathetic old man. So it goes. But remember, it don't have to be like this. There's more than one way to earn a buck. Oh, and I saw your friend Horley. He said to say thank you for attending to his business. Uh, said you'd understand. Not sure I do. Like I said, good luck. I'll watch how you get on.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Here's some cash to keep you going. That bastard's death makes my life much easier. Now we won't have the army going after the same banks as we are. If we can ever get the planning of it. I'll be in touch if I can. And I'll be in Blackwater! And your bounty will be in any sheriff's office. I said away with you, old bastard. Ah, oh, you'll hear me in your sleep, Finch. I implore you to be sensible. Oh, I am being sensible. I swore I would kill them, each and every one of them. From the way I see it, I will do. I'm afraid my mind's made up. But Mrs. Leclerc, Teddy Brown, he's just a second-rate common no-good horse thief. You kill him and the rest of his boys, well, you'll wind up in jail. Or worse. And we will never find out who killed your husband. You know it, and I know it. I believe Teddy Brown killed my husband. If he did so, he did it on behalf of his sister, her husband, or Jeremiah Shaw. Perhaps, Besides, but... he's holed up in there, besieged by marshals. Marshals? What good did a marshal ever do anyone? That's why we'll send in our professionals to get the job done, and no one will know you had anything to do with it. It's too early to show your hand, madam. Okay. You, come with me. And remember, these are the people that put you in jail. So don't overly concern yourself with pity. Madam, stay here. Please. Get on your horse. I know you're willing to do good and bad as it suits you. And maybe that's everyone's right. Maybe it's the right way to be. You seem to live by your own rules. In some ways, I admire that. Although maybe at times you seem a touch confused? Confusing? I don't know. But I hope, either way, good, bad, or plain indifferent, after all she has done for you, that you will be loyal to my mistress. Kill Teddy Brown, not out of vengeance or righteousness, but out of duty to her, compassion for her. Thinks he got away with taking my master and taking your freedom. Show him he has it. How are you getting on, Marshal? Well, that bastard is holed up tight as he can be. I've already had two men shot since last we spoke. That's too bad. Luckily, I brought in the cavalry, so to speak. You have, huh? Yes. My associates. And what's more, I think I found a way of ensuring they don't get themselves shot. Like your deputies. Put those on. Teddy Brown is a bad man. One of the worst. But there's folk in Blackwater, powerful folk, who asked my boss to get me to leave him alone. I can imagine. Amos Lansing and Jeremiah Shaw, perhaps? Well, I don't know. Maybe. My lord, look at you. Yeah, I read about this. Australian, I believe. Always wanted to see if it works. My friends, let me take you up. Come on. Bring us Teddy Brown. Dead or alive. The armor's gonna... Have a force to protect you. Ah! Teddy Brown's gonna pay for this!
think I'm afraid of you fools? God damn you! God damn you! No! God damn you, Teddy Brown! Hello, Mrs. LeClerc. <laughs> Who killed my husband? Who killed my husband? Your husband? That little milk sot? <laughs> I guess I imagine he was your brother. No woman would ever marry his kind. <laughs> I did kill him. I did it. And he was begging for his life. <laughs> Pathetic, really. Who put you up to uh, it? Who? Lady, that's none of your damn business. Then I guess we'll kill the lot of them. That's one down, three to go. Mr. Horley. Pay our friends for their service. Thank you. We shall be in touch. There you are. Still a good soul, huh? <laughs> That's nice. Real nice. Uh, but your new friend, the Marshal, he's having problems. More problems. With your even newer friend, Montez. They're in the uh, sheriff's office in Valentine. He asked me to ask you if you can bring a goddamn posse and come armed. Can you do that? Yeah, I thought you could. Best get going. Tom, who are they? Well, they're with me. Let me go. Tom, not to put too fine a point upon it. And I'll it, let you all but we live. Are deep shit. Pardon my language. Now, he's talking sense. We're all adults here, Bob. Sure as shit is shit. They'll be back until they freed Montez, and we and every decent person in this town is dead. You know what, Bob? Montez. I'm a man of many contradictions. I thought long and hard about a speech about ethics, 
about responsibility, about rule of law. Then I decided I'd just do this and hang the consequences. You, you killed him! No shit. So that's one less problem we gotta worry about. Now, what was the real problem in this town? His boys will be back to kill us all. Well, then we better get prepared. These are the folks as willing and able to help with whatever weapons they can muster. Go up and station them where they'll be most useful. I expect Montez's men will be here shortly. We must hold this town however we can. God help us. Tell me where to go. I ain't killed a man yet, but I can hit him with anything with this long gun. Tell me where to set up with this shotgun.
afraid this isn't over yet. There. Here, Lord. friends saved my town. And Montez died in the conflict. Exactly. He, uh, died in the conflict. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. In towns, it's the sheriffs that run things. But we help out where we can. Thank you. You've been a great help in all this business. It's been my pleasure. I hope to see you again. Not too soon, I hope. Well... Thanks again. They're gonna hang young Tom Davies. Your friend, the Marshal, hang him for being your friend and doing good in a bad world. Montez's boys gonna teach goodness a lesson, teach law a lesson, tell order it don't exist no more in this chaos of a world. They got him in tumbleweed, and they're gonna lynch him, or they're gonna lure you in there and lynch all you. Guess you'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Come on, let's go. All right, it's tumbled. I said that. Marshal Davies crossed the line when he killed Alfredo there. Killed him without due process. No judge, jury, just an executioner. He crossed the line, and now Alfredo's men, they're crossing it too. When good folks break the rules, well, they should know that bad folks are just gonna break them worse. And now the executioner is himself condemned. I only hope this bunch waits a while longer than Davis did to carry out the deed. But he might already be done for when we arrive. Sure, we'll save him if we can. But if we can't, well, either we'll join him or 
We will see it right. You gotta help! The whole town's overrun! Bandits have the marshal and, and the sheriff too! They're gonna hang him any moment! The sheriff too? Sounds like we're here in time at least. Come on! Here we are. Get ready for a fight, folks. They're out for blood. The mark. Listen here! These two men are killers. The worst kind of killers. The kind that hide behind the law. So today, Marshal Davies and Sheriff Freeman are going to get what's coming. Do it. If I could do it, I'd kill him again. Do it! Tom! forward to getting hung on my own gallows. So, thanks. Come on, we have to go. There's a wagon over here. Sheriff Freeman, old man Jones, get in. Hey, there's room for one more. We're going to let those animals chase us out of tumbleweeds. That's what we want them to think. When they give chase, you shoot them. All of them. I know by the river. Come on, yeah! We'll take out anyone who falls. Wait up, Chris. You had a close call, Marshal Davis. Your bad deed coming back at you. I'm grateful you bring these folks, old man. You better shut up.
wasn't sure about you, Mr. Jones. But then you went and saved my neck. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna make a habit of it. All of you, thank you. I mean it, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. I don't like requiring help, but this time I did. Marshal Davies, all of you, thank you. <laughs> ain't that fine. I was thinking we should leave before Montez's ghost decides to pay us any further visits. So you are a good fella, Mr. Jones. Me? No, never. I just like watching what other folks is, that's all. There's a word for fellas like you. Wise? Is that the word? Come, Marshal. Help me get home. Been quite enough excitement for a clapped out old fool, well past his best, for one day! Friends, I'll see you again, I hope. But next time, under better circumstances, I trust. <laughs> <laughs>